What up, what up? It's Garage Gym, homie. And tonight, I'm reviewing the Takaya Cold Brew Coffee Maker, and I'm demonstrating how to make the perfect freaking cold brew. Is it worth it? Before I get into this, please click the subscribe button. I got content coming out every day for you now from health food reviews, supplement reviews, gizmos, gadgets, goodies, all sorts of good finds for you fine folks out there. So click subscribe and let's get into this. Before I get into this here, just, just sit with me for a minute. I'm gonna make a uh, make up a bowl of ice cream with you guys here. Let me show you, I ain't scared to eat here. So what do I got here? I got Edie's Brownie Brick Row. This is a special Rocky Road collection. Sweet cream ice cream, brownie pieces, brownie batter swirls, and crisp brownie edges. This boy looks so good. So what you do, let me see, what did I do here? What did I do here? Okay. So, what I got here is the ice cream. We're gonna get into the cold brew. Just, just hold on, because this ice cream's been sitting out for a minute. I wanna get it revved up. Rainbow sprinkles. Always use freaking rainbow sprinkles. Quit freaking monkeying around. Here we go. So you coat the ice cream nicely. Don't freaking be very liberal on the sprinkles. Boom. So you got a bunch of sprinkles. Then minimum of three Reese's peanut butter cups. Boom. This is bowl number one. We could do a couple, we could do a couple. We're not gonna do a couple together. We gotta get in this cold brew here, but I appreciate you bearing with me. Two. Always have a bunch of Reese's on hand. And the other trick, just so you know, Always have an extra thing of sprinkles, always. You never know when you're gonna run out of sprinkles. You always wanna have an extra sprinkles and an extra Reese's. You don't wanna play games with this ice cream. I won't even eat ice cream without sprinkles these days. My ice cream game is, is so high up there. It's just, so you got three things. So look at that, boom. So then you mash up the Reese's. Mash it up, boom. We're not gonna eat a whole bowl together. I'm just gonna get it ready. So after the video, I got my bowl of ice cream ready to ready to go here. All right, let's let me take a just a quick taste test. Make sure it's right. Boom! It. You see it? It's going straight to the muscle. Oh my god! The ice cream is going straight to the freaking muscle. I'm growing right in front of you. Mm. Remember this. If you're gonna train all the way in, if you're gonna eat all the way right, if you're gonna rest all the way right, if you're gonna do it all, you better indulge all the way in. It's good for your freaking head. All right, let's get into this cold bro. So now that my stim break come into an end, I have some, some coffee ready here. Not that I even drink coffee. I'll take a shot here and there. Why not? For old time's sake, you know? So this is the, I just wanted to review this on the channel. This is the Takaya coffee maker. This is how it works. I got this for 20 bucks. I got it on Amazon. Since COVID, I've kind of been enlightened about small businesses, how important it is to support them. I no longer buy things on Amazon. I don't support Amazon anymore. I did get this on Amazon probably two years ago. Um, so is it worth it? I'm already going to tell you it's worth it. This thing's freaking amazing. If you can find this somewhere else besides Amazon, go support that smaller play. If you could get a lot of smaller businesses sell through Amazon, if you cut out Amazon as the middleman, 
go to them directly. It's better to support them directly than through Amazon. We don't need Amazon getting any bigger. I know they offer a good service. It's hard not to use, but hey, sometimes there's a bigger picture here. So what you do is you put the coffee in here. I'm gonna tell you exactly how much to use. You put this, I'm just gonna go through it with you. So number one, there's only one freaking kind of coffee that I use in my life, whether I drink it hot or cold. I drink Starbucks, I drink Starbucks Blonde Roast. Blonde Roast is the strongest coffee that I've had. I know a lot of people could say, oh, how about death coffee or this or that or da, da, da. I don't care about all that. I'm talking about the strongest legit coffee that I've ever had is Starbucks Blonde Roast. Supposedly, there's about 400 something milligrams of caffeine in a Vente Starbucks Blonde Roast. See, a lot of people, I'm going to put you up on game. A lot of people think that the darker the coffee, the more caffeine, the stronger it is. Actually... The lighter the coffee, the more caffeine it has. It doesn't taste as strong, but it has it packs a punch more. The darker the coffee through the roasting process, the darker the roast, more caffeine gets cooked out of it. So yeah, it tastes stronger in a dark roast. It has the least caffeine content. Light roast has the most. So here we go. So let's open up this fresh batch. I got this batch just for you fine folks out there. Just for you. Open this boy up. Boom. Oh my God, it smells so good. Mmm, so freaking good. So I'm gonna get out. A, let's get you closer here. We're family, man. We don't wanna be too far apart. Family stays together. Okay. So, let me get a tablespoon here. Boom, tablespoon. I go 16 scoops to start with and see where that ends up. Fat scoops. One, two, three. It's gonna make the best cold brew ever. You take like shots of it. It's like little shots of espresso. It gets you, man, your head is spinning. If you're not used to this, this stuff will get you going in a way fat burners and artificial caffeine cannot do. Believe it or not. I haven't had this in probably a year. I'm so excited. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to put you up on major game here. Okay. So there's a line. There's a line right here to where to stop. Go past the line. Keep going. Go keep Keep going, I'm showing you, I'm showing you the perfect amount. We're not gonna play games here, boom. All right, so you leave just a little space at the top there. It's a little space. You don't wanna pack it down. You don't wanna start packing it down. You wanna give it room to breathe so the water can get in there. This is a tiny filter. So what you do is you put the lid on here. Boom, so that's tight, all right? Sorry, I know you wanna see my pretty face. Okay, so let me take you over here to the alkaline water machine. I always use alkaline water because it has smaller molecules and it penetrates better. Let's see if I got the touch still. So fill it up exactly where it's supposed to be filled up at. All right, boom. So we get that alkaline water going in there. I'm gonna show you exactly where to stop. You stop it about Five eighths, just over three quarters, about five eighths of the thing. It's gonna make the perfect, perfect cup. I mean, perfect uh, cold brew. Keep in mind, this freaking coffee goes a long way. You're just taking little four ounce shots. Okay. See that? Take a screenshot. That's where you should fill yours up to. Watch this. Boom. Now it covers it completely. Look at that. See, it's completely covered. And some of the water's gonna go down now because it's gonna soak in there, inside the filter. So this takes two days to do. 
the instructions tell you 24 hours, 12 to 24 hours, it's freaking BS. Listen to it. Garage Gym Homie's always going to give it to you straight. Hold on. Boom. This takes two days to do. I do it. If you want a really strong, like, junky experience, this is what you do. So then, you open your fridge, okay, and you put it in there, put that boy in there, boom, okay, and you close the fridge. Tomorrow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it in the fridge, and I'm going to keep it. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to keep filming tomorrow. I'm going to film, and I'm going to keep it in there like that overnight. Look at this. You can already see it's starting to pull out. What it does is it pulls out every little bit of caffeine over two days. It's going to make the smoothest, juiciest cup. So I'm going to check in with you tomorrow, and we'll see the finished product. What up, what up? Training starting again. Working off that freaking ice cream. Oh, yeah, let's get freaking shredded for the summer. So listen, so this is what it's like here. So now, I left this boy in all night. Look how dark it got. That is going to be some freaking incredible cold brew. Keep in mind. You just take shots of it. So what I do, what I do is when this is done, I pour it in a pitcher, a glass pitcher I have separate, and then I'll automatically start making another batch. So you're constantly just having it running, constantly having it running. So you're not running out, and then you gotta wait two more days for cold brew. You're just constantly having it going. So you could share it with people, pass it out, tell your friends about it. You know what I mean? It's, it's a nice thing. Here, you want a little cup of cold brew, take a shot. They're like, oh my God, this stuff is strong. You just give them like four ounces. I put it on the scale, four ounces on the food scale. So this is what you do. In prison, they used to call this burping the bag when you would make alcohol in prison because if you don't burp it, it'll explode. So on the instructions, it tells you to open it up, give it some air. So you see that? All the coffee in the filter. They don't tell you to do this um, with what I'm about to do next. This is, this is, this is Garage Gym Homie's secret cold brew recipe. See, a lot of when I used to empty it, the beans on the top would be dry because it's sucking it all in. It's not getting to the beans on the top. This thing, this Takaya, is freaking perfect. So all you gotta do is put it upside down. It stays, nothing, nothing comes out. Boom, it'll stay like that. The only thing that came out was a little bit that was on the tip from when I just opened it. Nothing, this is completely sealed. You make sure, boom, I've never, I've used this for years. I've never had an accident. Boom, then you put it in for 12 hours, upside down. Move this freaking juice out of the way. You can push something against it like that. Boom, so it stands up straight. Now it's going to get everything. And then 12 hours or overnight, I'm going to flip it again. So I do this for two days. That's all I do. For two days, flip it, flip it. Seems like a lot, but dude, this stuff is going to blow your freaking mind. All you got to do is flip it in the morning and flip it before you go to bed for two days and your cold brew's ready. End of freaking story. Quit monkeying around. Next time you see me, we're going to be pouring it all out together. All right. God bless all of you. So the last, the other thing I'll say I forgot. I always put a note on it. A little note here. See, it says Tuesday night. Tuesday night. I just slap that sticky note right on the freaking bottle. Because that way I'm not doing too much thinking. I started Sunday night, two days. I know that Tuesday night I can, uh, I can empty that boy out. Tuesday night, maybe even Wednesday morning. You really want to brew it good. So Tuesday night should be sufficient. That's 48 hours. Um, and then the other thing, I keep saying that I make, um, I keep saying that I'm using it to, to, you do shots with it. Keep in mind, you can also add shots to your, 
your uh, protein shake, so you have some some protein with energy for the morning. Uh, you, you can add it to anything. I mean, it, it's amazing. Just put four ounces on the scale. If you're hardcore, you can put eight ounces on the scale. And uh, your head, I mean, dude, I'd start with four ounces and see how you feel. All right, all right. We back. So here we go. We've let this bad boy brew for two days now, from Sunday night to Tuesday night. Flipping it every 12 hours. So here we are. We got the final product. Look at this. Oh my God. Mm. So this is, watch this. See when you turn this? Oh my God. You see that? You see that black stuff? That's when you know it's freaking nice and right. You want to shake it up a little? Look at all that. This stuff is hardcore. Yeah, so you want to shake it real good. You don't want any stuck in there. There you go. Now you open it up. This is the secret. I'm telling you all my secrets. Pull that boy open. Put it over here. Boom. And you pour it in the glass. Okay. Okay, hold on. We're not done yet. Take it easy. You can relax. I'm getting your feelings over there. Okay, so now what we do is you have the option. Oh my god. It smells so freaking good. This boy is ready to rock and roll. So now what you can do, I bought the pitcher. Throw this boy in the fridge. You can empty it out. You just gotta rinse it. You don't gotta even freaking wash it or run it through the dishwasher because you can you can start another batch right away. So that way, while you're drinking that throughout the week, you always got one brewing. You know they only give you this. You know so as soon as you run out, you're like, oh shoot, now I don't have any cold brew for two days. See, you gotta you gotta think ahead. You're over there playing checkers, garage gym homies over here playing chess. You know what I mean? So that's what I got for you. I've given you all the secrets now to my cold brew recipe with the Takaya. Highly recommend this boy. 100% worth it. Right, Minnie? We love cold brew. We love being off stim breaks. I might mix it up with, with a fat burner. I might get crazy. But, you know, I don't really overdo it or do mad scientists. So maybe I'll just have like eight, eight ounces of that should knock your freaking top off. The only thing I use is that Starbucks blonde roast. So end of freaking story. Quit monkeying around. If you like the review, subscribe to the channel. If you didn't freaking like the review, also subscribe to the channel. Garage Gym Homies always going to give it to you straight. Together. Wait a second. Oh, you still got it. You still got it together. Let's hit this dang muscle. God bless all of you. I'm out.